Netflix and we're back to watch another pilot reaction. Yes? Yes. Pilot reaction series. Yeah, that sucked. Today we're going to be watching the first episode of Agent Carter. This was requested by Sean Allingham, so thank you. Um, I'm kind of excited for this one because I was thinking about doing this one anyway, I think, on the channel. And I think I, I still probably will. I just think I might not... It won't be like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is still going to be the main focus in the Marvel things to come out. And maybe Agent Carter can come out here and there. Um, it depends if uh, it hooks me like S.H.I.E.L.D. did. <laughs> because S.H.I.E.L.D. really got me. And I'm so happy that it did because... I'm honestly loving S.H.I.E.L.D. at the moment and I just, yeah, I just love it. <laughs> but I think I've spoken about that enough. This first episode of Agent Carter is called Now Is Not The End. Um, what I'm expecting about this, not really sure about the story itself. I'm probably assuming just little things here and there that might connect later on. For shield or something i have been assured that this isn't actually any spoilers for shield future episodes that i haven't seen so that's good um and obviously agent carter i know a bit more about her now through watching um shield as well as going back and watching winter soldier i always knew that she was captain america's love interest because i had seen most of captain america the first avenger so i knew her face and i knew that the nurse slash shield agent in Winter Soldier. I think the actress's name is Emily something from Revenge. She is the granddaughter or something, I think. I don't know. I remember something like that coming up in, I probably was the third Captain America film, which I can't think of for the life of me what that one's called. Pretty much an Avenger film though. <laughs> but yes, I do know that this is obviously going to be set in the 40s around... Well, I think I did see somewhere, yeah, 1946, it did say so at the end of the war, just a year after it. So they're probably going to be dealing with a lot of Hydra stuff. <laughs> I do know that Evna, I'm going to say is how you pronounce his name from Dollhouse, is in this one. I do actually know that from previous thing, um, previously from going into this. I did I know some people have told me that he's in it, but I actually knew before that because I was just looking at his IMDb page and said Agent Carter. I'm like, oh, cool. But I'll be really excited to see him again. And yeah, I, do, yeah. I obviously know that she founded S.H.I.E.L.D. and everything, so maybe it's about S.H.I.E.L.D. starting, maybe? I don't know. But let's just uh, watch it and find out, I guess. But I've rambled on long enough, like always. It's kind of a thing with me. Sorry about that. But let's just get into the first episode because I'd be very interested to see what the story is for this one. Let's go. Yes, see, yeah, I remember this. Planning. Okay, so we're starting from here. Uh, I'll get Howard on the line. He'll know what to do. I gotta put her in the water. Please, don't do this. We have time. We can work it out. Peggy, this is my choice. Well, I didn't think we would see um, Rogers in this at all. Save me a dance was the last thing he said, wasn't it? New York. Okay. Captain America, LA, yet to explain what he said. Yeah, it is. It's dead, right? How it's dark, right? Okay, thanks. I really don't remember all this, so thank you for the flash the flashbacks. <laughs> you work at the phone company. No, she don't. <laughs> Darling, you have no idea. I just love the way Darling sounds in an English accent. It's just so nice. <laughs> Especially when it's Tom Holland. So she's like a bus lady, isn't she? That's a front. Morning, <laughs> Rose. We just caught a red ball out of DC. All hands on deck. Okay, maybe not bus lady Being yet. To cover the phones. Yet. Rose, forward all calls to the briefing room. <laughs> Covered. Shall we? Yeah, bitch. Howard Stark. From boy genius to weapons developer accused of selling weapons to the enemy. Did you knowingly sell military grade technology to enemies of the United States? Not knowingly. Those of enemy states. There he is. He's been waffling on the hill, treating the whole thing like a joke. Sounds Yesterday, like the Starks. <laughs> the final day here. Howard Stark is not only in contempt of Congress, he's a fugitive from justice. I'm sure being Captain America's liaison. Brought Excuse you to the your tone, Mr. Let the professionals decide who's worth going after. She is the like founder of Shield, anymore. bitch. What did you say, Krasinski? You are the lady in apology. Oh, you standing up for her now, Susan? This okay. is the thing that's gonna really piss me off with this, though. <laughs> when men stand up for women, they get called sh out and shit like that, and 
Uh, that's so annoying. Um, so this is probably what's going to be the most annoying thing, even though it's accurate to the time period. But I just wanted to kick their asses, <laughs> basically. Okay, that's also probably why they're making fun of him too. Agent Sousa, about what you just did. I wish you hadn't. Yeah, she's going to say, I knew it. I'm going to be a little busy with your friend Stark. If you don't mind, these surveillance reports. Is that Chad Michael going. Murray? Adios. Is it? Adios. Aloha. It is, isn't it? Okay. I love all the um, sets. They're really cool. You can eat him with a spoon. This is supposed to be a BLT? Where's the girl? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not work here anymore? I hate is customers. Is he a <laughs> Yeah. Who the hell is that? Oh, we haven't had the pleasure. Show me your face. Yet. You're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Carter. No. They're calling you a traitor. And I'm calling it a setup. When I got back, I found a hole under my vault all the way to the sewer. Somebody cleaned me out. Hydra. A couple of weeks later, my. Well, actually, Hydra's in a But why run? Now that's the Peggy Carter I need. For what? <laughs> to clear my name. You can't be serious. You're asking me to become a traitor in order to prove you're not one. You do see the irony. Oh, <laughs> you want a mission that matters? This is it. Yes, my and bring Enver along too. So not the... Technically, we're not even sure it works, but well, let's face it. I invented it, so it works. <laughs> Classic stuff. And that fellow up there is my butler, Edwin Jarvis. If you in any way you Jarvis? Can. Is that what. I don't. I don't remember if that's what um, uh, he named it after in an Age of Ultron, or was he around in Avengers 2? Because Age of Ultron is when he became Vision. Is that a connection? I'm not sure about the timeline and anything with the whole Stark family. But possibly, I'm thinking maybe Jarvis, his butler, helped raise him or something, and that's why he named the computer thing after him, maybe? Because did Stark actually know his dad? This is the things I'm confused about, but you know, it's not that important, but I, I would eventually, I'm gonna go through the movies, so hopefully it would link up eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go back, go back. Stark hates water. He can't even swim. He tried to kiss me on VE day. I knocked him into the Thames. We had to get Frogman to fish him out. <laughs> it's okay, Chief. Let her stay. Maybe she'll learn something. Well, thank you, Agent. I already have. I think you'd uh, do some serious business if you just tell me what else you got out of Howard Stark's basement. Can you even talk? Jane Russell's numb. Can she please just, like, bust down the door? No? Damn it. Nice I target. like the color of the doors, though. That lion green. It's nice. As I said, I really like the sets. <laughs> I've never seen a blonde and it's weird. Smart. Oh, are we getting to see all these old timey gadgets and stuff that uh, Chip's grandfather had? Cool! <laughs> Crikey O'Reilly. Crikey O'Reilly? Who says that? <laughs> Jarvis. It's just that I promised my wife a souffle and if I don't get it in the oven by. Mr. Jarvis, what was once a theory is now a bomb, so apologies to your wife, but dinner will have to wait. Orange glow would indicate the nitramine has reached peak volatility and should be handled with caution. Oh, well, they're there. <laughs> Time to get out, Peggy. <laughs> Creep, what are you doing? Where's this? Oh, <laughs> stapling his head. <laughs> but the plan must have taken it. I can fix this. I don't think he's getting the chance. Every single person who's coming to this, into this room is just like, what the hell's happened? And Peggy's just the one leaving all the trails. I sent me home. Fever. I didn't know what time you'd be back. I can... Do she actually care. is sick. I want you to tell me all about it. In the morning. I think you're dying. I don't think there's gonna be a morning. Okay. This doesn't look good. Oh, you're lucky that worked. It's very smoky in there now, though. Oh, so the alcohol was just for her mainly, was it? <laughs> Colleen? Dead. Like I said, except not from the fever. You have no idea who you're messing with. <laughs> oh. My hair, though! My hair! <laughs> I'm falling in love with her. <laughs> Where'd he go? 
this guy's bad news, obviously, but didn't have to kill the friend, you little shit. <laughs> Why do I get so emotional when everyone cries? <laughs> I seem to have a habit of losing people closest to me. Mm. Uh, Dr. Vanko, please tell me that isn't still um, volatile. Oh, volatile, no, no. Active. <laughs> oh, yes. The natural is still thing? in slow levels of vital radiation. <laughs> Project Rebirth. What's this? <laughs> Not so. So we got the serum and things again in this one, it seems, or something, right? Tell him. <laughs> I can assure you I don't do this often. Still missing half my stuff. <laughs> Can't find my leg anywhere. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. I don't know what that is. Not you. What are you doing? Making it electric? <laughs> oh, kind of electric. <laughs> yeah, what's this? She saw that and she looked like she knew what it was. Nah, it's not good. Permission to terminate, yeah. Always talking to someone. Well, that's not good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Making more. Fun. Scott, it seems that. Well, yeah, obviously it was gonna happen. They don't have earpieces like they do in the future. <laughs> That's far enough. Shit. So what's this? Who are you? Just That's why I wasn't talking before. Work. And what about your friend? Green suit? Scar on his throat like yours? It's not my friend. Tell me his name. He doesn't have a name anymore. The Viathan is coming. Who? 30 seconds, Agent. Mr. Jarvis, do you think you could bring the car around? Of course. When would you like it? Oh, in about 20 seconds. <laughs> I didn't realize it kind of pulled things in. So we're looking for an angry blonde. I talked to the club photographer. Thinks he got a shot of her. She turned her head. Get that camera, Peggy. What word did he use? Leviathan. Still makes me think of Supernatural. I'll check Mr. Stark's files. I'm not sure I'll sleep for days. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I did three weeks in a POW camp. The Nazis fed us better than this. Then Next time, stop don't get smart with me. Coming sweetheart. in. Your brains aren't your best feature. <laughs> uh, this is Preston. She'll break your artery. You may be mm. dull, but I'm determined. Keep smiling. <laughs> Once you start to bleed, you'll lose consciousness in 15 seconds. Oh, one more thing. Tip generously. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're quite right. Miss Carter's an excellent choice. I don't think she'll have any suspicions at all. Oh no, that's bad. No! I like, I was, I was gonna say at the end of this. Oh, there you go, there's, there's their symbol. I was gonna say at the end of it, I like you guys being a dynamic duo. Don't go evil or something. Though I don't think so, but I, I, don't, I don't think it's necessarily bad, bad, but I'll have to wait and see, I guess. So that was the first episode of Agent Carter, and I think you probably could tell that I really loved that. <laughs> that was so good. Yes, I think um, I think I might continue this one just in general because yeah, I really liked it, <laughs> and I would like to see more. And I love Jarvis and Peggy together. That they're so funny. <laughs> they're great. I really did enjoy that, and I want to make it just to show that I, I do normally, um, as I kind of was saying at the start of the video, but I after getting here i think i i will i think i want to continue it <laughs> then i think it's by the same the show is not run by the same creators is it though it's different ones i think i haven't really looked it up though and i don't think i will now because it's one that i don't want any spoilers on because that was so good thank you so much sean for um suggesting me to watch that one because it was on the back of my mind maybe to do one day but 
I wasn't going to watch anytime soon. So thank you because that was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what else to really say because I'm still kind of catching up in some areas of it and some not. So I think I'm a bit more better prepared for it in a way because I've watched S.H.I.E.L.D. now. Like going into S.H.I.E.L.D. I really didn't think I was prepared for it at all. I didn't even know if I was going to like it um, because of all the movies and everything before it. But watching S.H.I.E.L.D. and knowing a bit about Agent Carter and how she... I kind of had some memories from the first Captain America film, but then also having some of those flashback sequences in season two at the start and Gemma being dork over, you know, <laughs> her holding that in her palm of her hands. <laughs> um, I think it kind of equipped me a little bit better to... To go into this one but there's still a lot of things there that I'm missing but it will be very interesting to see where it goes because I'm excited and I really do love Jarvis and her together they're so funny but by the end of that I don't know what's happening so don't hurt me don't do a ward in season one <laughs> but I think that's probably all I really have to say I don't really know what else to talk about really because it was just so fun and so good and I love the sets and stuff as I mentioned a couple times in the um, reaction and the costumes and stuff were really cool so that's always really interesting too and that diner was very kind of art deco-ish with the floor and stuff that pattern and that was really cool but yeah very excited to continue this one so thank you so much once again for Sean for uh, suggesting this one I really did enjoy it so thank you and I hope you all enjoyed it too but I will leave this one here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.